that he has finished number two in the world. Go! Seven, eight, he got him. Oh, and there you go. Jose taking care of business. <laughs> he is happy and the scores. It is important for these guys to get numbers on the board. He's going to do it. He's not going to take over the lead. 85 and three quarter points. 85 and three quarters is going to put him fourth right now in the event. But ladies and gentlemen, an opportunity, if you would, to say thank you to our U.S. Border Patrol Protection Team Bullfighters, Cody Webster. <laughs> And there it is, another example of going big. The explosion happens aboard Boogie Bomb. Probably and almost definitely not enough to take over the lead, but it is going to slot Leme right there in the top spots. It's going to be a big score. I mean, Lemmy had the better bull over Jess right here. <laughs> Check Another, out. another <laughs> 88 and three quarters. Uh, Lemmy wasn't able to flash his bull up as much as Lockwood, and I feel like that's because the bull was a little bit more difficult than Lockwood's bull was. Both great rides for different reasons. What a party on the leaderboard. Tied for the round lead. Lemmy, Lockwood, and Pacheco unlocks the winning formula. accomplished and the acrobatic landing on his feet not only conquering bullseye he will move to the lead and tell me if you've seen this before 92 points well i didn't know he could be this many on this bull but i knew he could be more than anybody else other than maybe lockwood huge rob rider over bull three points over the bull and worth every point of that because lemmy completely dominated that ride from start to finish his fourth 90 plus point ride or better in five events and now the smile is evident he has won back-to-back -back events it was Sacramento last week, four for four, with 91 in the championship round. It's three for three this week, with 92 in the championship round. He's now riding at almost 80% for the season, and he's our world number one. Jose Vitor, well done. Before that ride, you told me, I can be a 90 on this bull. You knew exactly what he was capable of, and you delivered. How much does your time in the film room, how much your student of the game, help you perform out here in the arena? Ela falou que antes de você montar, você falou que esse boi você podia, você tinha escolhido ele, que ele podia ser 90, né? Se você parasse nele. Quanto tempo, quanto que, qual que é a importância de você perder o tempo ali no fundo de estudar e escolher os bois para saber na hora da final? Acho que você conhecer os touros aqui é muito importante porque muitas vezes você tem que escolher o touro que você vai montar quando você passa num short go. Então, essas escolhas fazem toda a diferença. Eu hoje escolhi um excelente touro, touro que podia me proporcionar 90, ele me deu 92, então estou muito feliz, graças a Deus consegui fazer uma boa escolha, consegui fazer meu trabalho e estou muito feliz por isso. On this level you got to study the bulls because you're going to have to pick them and if you do know what they're going to do, that kind of gives you a little advantage in knowing what the score they're going to give to you and all that kind of aspect and this is what I did and thank God I did a good job and I was 92 on him and that was great to win another one. Continuing the momentum, well done. Thank you. Back in the way.